One of the biggest questions that I'm asked is I have a five horsepower engine and what is it going to make my go-kart do or will my go-kart move and how can I determine whether or not that's going to happen or not? Well the first thing you need to understand is how much the person weighs. How much weight is that person exerting in this system? Secondly, you need to know how much weight is the go-kart? How much does it weigh? You will be adding these two weights together and you will come up with a sum total of a weight. This sum total will then be used to calculate the acceleration of the go-kart and the acceleration in turn will be able to tell you how well your go-kart performs. That's all sounds fine and dandy to you. So uh, let's get on with the calculation. As we determined last time, we need to uh, put the person into the go-kart and then we add the two weights together for the uh, for the, uh, the sum total of the mass which in most cases is about 300 pounds and basically this is a a, ch a chunk of material or mass that's moving in this direction not up but in the direction of horizontal and it has an acceleration now the basic equation here is force equals mass times acceleration that's the basic premise for this calculation we're trying to figure out what the mass is and so we have a 300 pound go-kart and it has a 5 horsepower motor in it how fast is this thing going to accelerate well we need to know a couple of things we need to know the size of the gear come on the engine we need to know the size of the gear on the rear wheel and we also need to know the size of the rear wheel diameter as well all this information can be inserted into a, uh, a set of equations and out will pop the acceleration and basically what the acceleration tells you we will discuss in the next video acceleration acceleration is the uh, movement of an object at a certain speed at a certain velocity and it's constantly increasing in velocity so you'll start out with a V0, which may be 0 miles per hour, and you'll end up with a V final, which will be like 25 miles per hour. The amount or the rate of change, this is V, the rate of change of the, uh, what this stands for is the rate of change, the rate of change of the velocity over a unit of time equals acceleration. So that's all fine and dandy. What that means is that, let's say you had a Corvette, a little Corvette here, and uh, you stomped on the gas pedal, it would take uh, three seconds to go 60 miles per hour, okay? Whereas you've, if you had a uh, go-kart with a five horsepower motor in it, it this go-kart, for example, would take eight seconds to go 30 miles per hour quite a difference. What that's telling you is how long it takes to get going fast. And as I told my kids, it's how fast you get going fast. So acceleration is how fast you go fast. Okay, well that's all nice. Well, acceleration is related to horsepower is the bottom line.